Welcome to the H series of webinars. This series is aimed at new and aspiring sheep producers to give them a step up into the Queensland sheep industry. This husbandry webinar is part five of the series and explores the basics of landmarking and pain relief options available to the sheep industry. This part of the webinar was delivered by veterinarian and sheep producer, Dr. Noel Dempsey on the 23rd of July, 2020. This is clip five of six and covers why you should use pain relief at landmarking and what pain relief options are available. This short session is on pain relief, particularly at landmarking. Uh, it has relied heavily on a AWI publication called Anaesthetics and Analgesics, which was in the Beyond the Bale magazine, issue 81 or December 2019. Because pain relief is such a large topic with um, many nuances, this talk is by necessity only a summary. Why should producers consider pain relief at castration, tail docking and mulesing? Well, the AWI's 2017 Merino Husbandry Practices Survey of warm growers found about 83% of producers who were mulesing ewe lambs were providing pain relief. And 42% used pain relief for tail docking and castration. And if anything, those percentages have increased since that time. The main relief reasons you'd be using pain relief at landmarking, of course, welfare, animal welfare. There may be a wool marketing advantage, which is you illustrate the fact that you are using pain relief to your potential buyers through the National Wool Declaration. It's surprising the height or the number of people who still are not filling that National Wool Declaration out fully when submitting wool for sale. I've had a look around. I could find no weight gain advantage recorded from the use of pain relief at landmarking, but there are anecdotal reports of quicker mothering up of ewes and their lambs. And as we all know, lambs are worth a lot of money at the moment. There's four products available on the market. The trisulfan that Tom referred to, Numacane with the Num Nuts delivery, Buckelgesic Metacam 20. So the types of drugs, you can read this as well as me, but there are two local anaesthetics and two non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NASAIDs. The respective products relieve pain caused by, in the case of trisulfan, castration with a knife. It cannot be used with rings or should not be used with rings. And tail docking with the knife or the hot knife can be used in dehorning or mulesing. Numacane can be used for castration or tail docking with the ring. Buckelgesic for castration, tail docking, dehorning or mulesing and Matacam 20, castration, tail docking, dehorning, and mulesing. The time to start of effective pain alleviation are different for the local anaesthetics from the NASAIDs, less than one minute for the local anaesthetics and from 10 minutes for the other products because they require the pain enzymes to be produced first before they can start working. The application method, trisulfan is via a fan spray applicator. Numacane is injection with the Num Nuts device, and that's a wonderful name. Buckelgesic is oral with a custom applicator between the gum and the cheek. And Medicam 20 is a subcutaneous injection. And as with most subcutaneous injection, high on the neck behind the ear is the preferred site. Availability is another point of difference. Trisulfan is available over the counter through registered uh, resellers. Uh, the other three products are available on, as S4s on veterinary prescription. The meat withholding period is different, 90 days for trisulfan, naught for numacane, 10 days for buckelgesic, and 11 days for medicam, although in the real world it's pro that's probably not uh, an important thing. Not many people I know sell their lambs within 90 days of landmarking. The duration of effectiveness is not given there. 
the trisulfan is about eight plus hours, numacane two plus hours, and the other two products forty eight plus hours. Thank you for watching this short clip. For more information, please visit www.leadingsheep.com.au.